2021 saw many municipal courts in Texas return to in-person proceedings and traffic safety events. This year's Municipal Traffic Safety Initiatives Award submissions were exceptionally strong. Every applicant demonstrated novel methods of conveying life-saving traffic safety information to the public. After tallying the scores, the Texas Municipal Courts Education Center, through generous funding from the Texas Department of Transportation, is pleased to recognize 24 winners and four honorable mention municipal courts. We hope you enjoy these highlights from the 2022 honorees. The Alvin Municipal Court incorporates statistics related to traffic crashes and school bus safety during both juvenile and adult dockets. During court, the judge also often provides defendants a pamphlet illustrating the stopping for school bus laws. Furthermore, as a condition of deferred disposition, the judge often orders traffic case defendants to read Ashley's story and enduring regret, Chris Sandy's life after causing death, and write a three or four page essay about what they've learned. The Austin Municipal Court commenced a major outreach campaign during National Teen Driver Safety Week in October. Working with the City of Austin Youth Council, activities included facilitating a What Do You Consider Lethal presentation, posting safety messages from Speak Up for Safety to various social media outlets, and publicizing a message from one of the Youth Council's members urging City Council and citizens to get involved in teen driver safety. During National Night Out, the Azel Municipal Court coordinated bringing Morgan's story to the city of Azel. In 2020, 23-year-old Morgan Michael was killed by a drunk driver in Amarillo. Morgan's family spoke to Azel residents about the dangers of impaired driving, and court staff passed out bracelets with quotes Morgan wrote in her journal a month before her tragic death, including be kind to others, and you'll only be a memory one day, so make sure it's a good one. Preserving public safety for young children is of the utmost importance for the Bay City Municipal Court. During Municipal Court Week, court staff visited with four different schools and focused on educating pre-kindergarten through second grade students to convey safety messages related to school bus safety and the importance of seat belts and child safety seats. Court staff conducted story time, reading books such as Bernard in the Back Seat and Be Careful, Lulu. Successfully launching its traffic safety outreach program in 2021, the Brady Municipal Court secured impairment simulation goggles and beanbag toss games to utilize at the city's Halloween in the Heart and Trunk or Treat events. Children enthusiastically lined up to participate in the game where they learned about the dangers of mixing alcohol and driving. Court staff also provided disposable barriers to put between the user's face and goggles to ensure that the pandemic would not deter this important educational event. The College Station Municipal Court partnered with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service to order certain defendants charged with speeding or alcohol offenses to attend the Reality Education for Drivers program. This free, one-day program exposes participants to a real-life trauma center to drive home the serious consequences of intoxication and unsafe driving behaviors. The judge also created a video on this program that was posted on the court's YouTube channel, which also includes useful expunction information for minors. The Columbus Municipal Court participated in Columbus High School's Lots of Tricks event, where court staff conveyed Halloween safety tips to approximately 800 trick-or-treaters. Tips included always walking with an adult, looking both ways before crossing the street, wearing costumes with bright colors, or using reflective tape if wearing dark costumes, and staying on sidewalks away from traffic. At Kids Fest, an event with over 15,000 people in attendance, the Conroe Municipal Court 
hosted a coloring contest for the kids. Court staff judged the entries, which related to bus and bicycle safety. The court also set up a traffic safety wheel, where patrons could spin to win traffic safety-related prizes, including buckle up every trip water bottles, stoplight pins, and be safe bracelets. Attendees were given a cell phone bag to put their phone in while operating a vehicle. Recognizing driving poses unique challenges to senior citizens, in December, the Dallas Municipal Court joined local council members to host Holiday in the Park for Seniors events at four area parks. Court staff discussed aging driver safety issues with participants and provided holiday gift bags filled with information to help keep older drivers safe on Dallas's busy streets. The El Paso Municipal Court partnered with TxDOT to bring Work Zone Willie and Safety Rex from Alpine, Texas to promote traffic safety in El Paso. Willie advocates for drivers to slow down in construction zones, while Rex discourages texting while driving. Both Willie and Rex are fun and eye-catching structures created by TxDOT from damaged construction barrels. Throughout April, Willie and Rex were placed at high traffic municipal court locations to maximize the reach of their message. Throughout 2021, the Freer Municipal Court website included Save Me With a Seat campaign information. In Freer, defendants charged with a child safety seat violation often express barriers to obtaining and installing proper child safety seats. In response, the court directs them to this free TxDOT resource. Save Me With a Seat is a TxDOT campaign that focuses on child safety seat awareness and gives the public information about how to properly install child safety seats in their vehicles. The campaign also includes virtual car seat checks. Serving a rapidly growing population, the Harker Heights Municipal Court maintains a highly successful and effective teen court program. Teen Court is a voluntary, statutorily authorized sentencing alternative for teens charged with certain Class C misdemeanors. Teen Court programs aim to prevent recidivism by having teens' punishment decided by a jury of their peers. The Harker Heights Hall of Success recognizes teen court volunteers that have gone on to lead distinguished careers in criminal justice. The Lotes Municipal Court displays life-saving traffic safety information in the court and city hall throughout the year, but places a special emphasis on those initiatives during Municipal Court Week, which is a legislatively recognized annual event held the first full week of November. In 2021, the court conveyed information to the public, both physically and virtually, including NHTSA's traffic safety facts, and the National Safety Council's Take Back Your Drive campaign materials. Students from Houston's High School for Law and Justice were invited to the Houston Municipal Court to tour the courthouse. The students enjoyed a Q&A session with Houston Municipal Court judges, viewed live court proceedings, observed Houston's citation processing system, and took turns in using a distracted driving simulator. At the end of this busy day, the students signed a no-text pledge. During Teen Driver Safety Awareness Week, the Irving Municipal Court partnered with AAA to host a Teen Driver Safety Fair. The guest speaker was Jamie White, the founder of Alley's Way, who lost her two-year-old daughter after she was struck by a distracted driver in a parking lot. Texas A&M's AgriLife Extension Program Mothers Against Drunk Driving and Texas Health Presbyterian Injury Prevention also presented information at the event. Identifying viable community service options can be a challenge. The LaPorte Municipal Court has addressed this by creating their own innovative juvenile community service program called ROC, which is an acronym for responsibility 
opportunity, consequences, and knowledge. Rock participants engage in numerous traffic safety education activities, including Sydney simulated driving experiences, distracted driving DVD viewings, and standard field sobriety test simulations. The Lakeway Municipal Court participated in Lake Travis Public Safety Day in October, hosting a booth featuring Texas A&M's Rollover Convincer. The Rollover Convincer features two dummies and a life-size pickup truck, one secured and one not, to show the drastic difference a seatbelt can make during a crash. When the truck begins to roll, the unsecured dummy is ejected out of the cab window, while the belted one remains safely in its seat. The Little River Academy Municipal Court launched its traffic safety outreach program in 2021 and hit the ground running. The court supplied traffic safety materials to Little River Academy Independent School District, performed a drunk cart demonstration for the students, and participated in a moot court program focused on substance abuse and injury prevention. Serving a population where more than 50% of the families have household incomes below $35,000, the Municipal Court's free outreach events are extremely well received by the public. Throughout 2021, the Melissa Municipal Court focused on different aspects of safety each month. In February, the court focused on impaired driving with the key statement, know your role on Super Bowl. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. The public was urged to designate a sober driver following the big game. The court deemed these sober drivers the Super Bowl's true MVPs. The overarching message of the Mesquite Municipal Court's outreach program is that serious bodily injuries or fatalities can occur to anybody at any time. But the elimination of certain behaviors such as distraction and impairment can minimize this risk. The court set up a display table in the city's Dia de los Muertos celebration where traffic safety coloring books were given out to children. Older visitors were tasked with performing routine activities wearing impairment simulation goggles. Statistically, the Permian Basin roadways are some of the most dangerous in Texas. As such, the Midland Municipal Court takes their role in educating the public seriously, especially in regard to operating smaller motor vehicles side by side with large trucks. During Municipal Court Week, the court promoted TxDOT's hashtag in the streak campaign, which urges the public to drive safely and end the streak of no deathless days on Texas roads since November 7th, 2000. Operating an extremely busy courthouse, the San Antonio Municipal Court relies in part on partnerships with other organizations to offer robust traffic safety education to the people of San Antonio. The court receives resources from such organizations as TxDOT's Traffic Jam Coalition, the National Safety Council and Texas Driving Concern, Too Young to Drink, Texas A&M AgriLife, University Health, Safe Kids San Antonio, San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness, Vision Zero San Antonio, the San Antonio Police Department, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. The Victoria Municipal Court's Mock Trial Initiative is one of the most successful and well-regarded in Texas. In 2021, the judge, along with local law enforcement, met with students in advance of the Driving Under the Influence Mock Trial to go over trial strategy, such as best practices, and explaining the law surrounding the standard field sobriety testing to a jury. The mock trial was showcased by local media outlets, as well as on the court's social media platforms. While many courts have had success utilizing impairment simulation goggles in conjunction with beanbag toss games, walking the line, and go-kart tracks, 
The Wink Municipal Court implemented another goggle application by setting up a drunk maze during National Night Out. The court also hosted a mini golf course with a different traffic safety message displayed on each hole. Congratulations to the 2022 MTSI Award winners and honorable mention recipients. And all the municipal courts that work to keep Texas roads safe every day. Together, we can hashtag end the streak. <laughs>